Well, as 2016 comes to a close, it got me thinking about the coasters coming next year, and I realized that next year we aren't seeing a B&M in the United States at all. No new coasters from B&M. Which is kind of weird, because we've seen the United States add a B&M coaster every year for who knows how long. So it got me thinking, when will Cedar Fair be adding their next coaster by B&M? It's kind of weird that they aren't adding one in 2017, and we know that we're going to see some RMCs in the Cedar Fair chain for 2018, so that kind of makes me wonder, will we even see a B&M coaster at the Cedar Fair chain in 2018? So I just kind of wanted to dive into a few things. So first of all, let's take a look at some of the B&M coasters added in the past few years. In 2010, we saw a B&M Hyper Coaster, Intimidator, and then 2011 was the last time Cedar Fair didn't add a B&M coaster. But then in 2012, we saw a Giga Coaster, Leviathan. Now, I don't know how helpful that information is going to be because that was before Matt Wiemit was the Cedar Fair CEO. He officially became the CEO in 2012, so everything after that was when he really got involved with it. So 2013, we saw a wing coaster. 2014, we saw an invert. 2015, we saw a giga. 2016 was a dive coaster. What do all those have in common? Besides the giga coaster, we're only seeing one of each type. One wing, one invert, one dive. The only repeats we've seen was a giga coaster, and that's because everyone freaking loves giga coasters, and I imagine we'll see more giga coasters in the future, even if it's just one more, maybe two. But I thought it was interesting how Cedar Fair would add one B&M coaster of each type, and then we haven't seen another one since. It's almost like they're testing out each coaster type to see how well it does. I mean, when they added Gatekeeper, people were saying, oh, they'll probably add a wing coaster in 2015 or something, and then that didn't happen. Gatekeeper is the only wing coaster in the Cedar Fair chain. And then Banshee was the last invert added. Obviously, there's other B&M inverts, but all of them are old school. They were all added ages ago. And then, of course, we saw the one dive coaster at Cedar Point. So I'm kind of questioning if Cedar Fair is trying to figure out which one of those are the most successful, and if they're all successful, then which ones do they decide to build more of? Or maybe they're going to continue with that trend and build some of B&M's other coasters. So what do we have left? Well, they haven't done a B&M flying coaster yet, so I think that is a possibility. They also haven't built a B&M stand-up recently, but I think B&M stand-up coasters are kind of dying out, so I'm not sure we'll be seeing one of those at all. We also have a sit-down looper. I think there's potential for that. Floorless, I don't think we'll be seeing a new ground-up floorless coaster in Cedar Fair anytime soon. What they're really doing is converting their B&M stand-up coasters into that, which also shows that they probably don't want any stand-up coasters in the Cedar Fair chain after all. They got rid of Skyrider and Shockwave, and then they're turning their B&M stand-ups into sit-downs. So I think at this point we can just go ahead and toss the stand-up idea. And then after that, the only other coaster by B&M left that we haven't seen is a B&M family coaster. And I'm not sure we'll be seeing that at all. Really, I think that if Cedar Fair is going to kind of stick with this trend of one of each major type, then a flying coaster is our best bet. And I'm not sure we'll be seeing that in 2018. Think about it. They've been adding one coaster each year. And in 2018, we know we're going to be seeing RMC Mean Streak and RMC Hurler. Now, obviously, both of those are conversions. But would they decide to build a B&M coaster in the same year, ground up? Who knows? I think there's a possibility that they could. But at the same time, I'm also skeptical. Because logically, you'd think that they would have gone with the B&M coaster in 2017 also. Because, I mean, all we have so far is Mystic Timbers. And the last time Cedar Fair did a GCI, they built a B&M in the same year. So let's take a minute and talk about what each of these Cedar Fair parks could use from B&M. And let's start things off with Kings Island, and the obvious one here is a Giga Coaster. Now, would they add one in 2018? Definitely not. They're getting Mystic Timbers next year. They aren't going to be adding a new coaster for a couple of years. My guess is they'll get a Giga for their 50th anniversary, but maybe a year sooner. Who knows? Next, we have a Hyper Coaster. What parks could really use one of these? The two that stand out to me are California's Great America and King's Dominion. Now, of those two, I think California's Great America by far has the best chance at it because Cedar Fair, we know that they are interested in building a hyper coaster there. We saw them release their 20-year plan for California's Great America, and that includes a 245-foot-tall hyper coaster, which we're going to assume is from B&M because I think that they would choose B&M and not any other manufacturer for that. So I think at this point, a B&M Giga and Hyper Coaster are the only ones we can almost guarantee we'll be seeing at Cedar Fair in the next few years. When would California's Great America get that? I'm not quite sure. Maybe 2020? So let's move on to inverted coasters. What parks could really use a B&M invert? The two that stand out to me here are Canada's Wonderland and Valley Fair. 
We've heard rumors tossed around that an invert could be going to both of those parks. Obviously, Valley Fair hasn't added a brand new roller coaster in a long time, so I think an invert is exactly what they need. Canada's Wonderland, they have the two awesome roller coasters by B&M, but they really need a third one to have a great top three, and an invert would really clear that lineup, but I think you could also be seeing a wing coaster there. And then the other two parks I could really see a wing coaster at would be Worlds of Fun and King's Dominion. Of those three, I could really kind of see the wing coaster best at King's Dominion. I think an invert would do better at Canada's Wonderland than a wing coaster. And then Worlds of Fun, I think a wing would be really nice, but I'd rather see a launch coaster there than a wing. But if they could get a launched wing, hey, then there you go, in both of those categories. And as for the flying coaster, I could see that basically any park that doesn't have a flying coaster. But at the same time, we haven't seen Cedar Fair yet add a B&M flying coaster. So while I said it would be nice and I could see them putting in at one park, I'm not sure they would necessarily duplicate that. And then the final one we have is the dive coaster. And this one's kind of interesting because I think not a lot of people expected Cedar Point to go with a dive coaster. So to me, adding in a dive coaster at another park would be kind of interesting. I think at this point, most Cedar Fair parks have a pretty equal shot at getting a dive coaster, but at the same time, I'm kind of skeptical if we'll be seeing more of those. So those are just some of my thoughts. I talked a little bit about everything, like the possible B&Ms we could be seeing in the future, and assuming Cedar Fair stuck to one B&M each year, when we could be seeing some of these rides, and even where they could be going. I think it'll be very interesting to see where Cedar Fair goes with this. I'm very curious to see how it all works out. But in the meantime, post your thoughts in the comment section below of when you'd like to see the next B&M, what park it should go to, what type it should be, all that good stuff. And of course, stay tuned for more videos coming soon to Coaster Studios.